Genesis 25, verse 12. The families of Ishmael and Isaac. Now this is the genealogy of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar, the Egyptian, Sarah's maidservant, bore to Abraham. And these were the names of the sons of Ishmael, by their names, according to their generations. The firstborn of Ishmael, Nebezhul, then Kedar, Abdil, Mibsam, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadar, Kima, Jatur, Nafish, and Kidama. These were the sons of Ishmael, and these were the na- their names by their towns and their settlements. Twelve princes according to their nations. These were the years of the life of Ishmael, 137 years. And he breathed his last and died, and was gathered to his people. They dwelt from Havilah as far as Shur, which is east of Egypt, as you go towards Assyria. He died in the presence of all his brethren. This is the genealogy of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah as wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Padan Aram, the sister of Laban, the Syrian. Now Isaac pleaded with the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord granted his plea, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. But the children struggled together within her, and she said, If all is well, why am I like this? So she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb. Two people shall be separated from your body. One people shall be stronger than the other, and the older shall serve the younger. So when her days were fulfilled for her to give birth, indeed, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red. He was like a hairy garment all over, so they called his name Esau. Afterward, his brother came out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel. So his name was called Jacob. Isaac was sixty years old when she bore them. So the boys grew, and Esau was a skillful hunter, a man of the field. But Jacob was a mild man, dwelling in tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he ate of his game, but Rebekah loved Jacob 